This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Good morning and good evening. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, great. Okay, uh, just give me a minute. Let me share my screen. So, yeah, before we start, a quick introduction about myself. Uh, my, name is Ra my name is Ram. So, I'm working in Salesforce from past uh, uh, close to 13 years, uh, not completely. Like, uh, started my career somewhere around 2010 as a Salesforce admin, and then uh, uh, now I'm an architect uh, working for various projects, leading a team of uh, around uh, 42 members in different uh, Salesforce orgs. Yeah, so this is about me. And uh, coming to the training part, uh, it's been seven or eight years I've been training people uh, specifically into Salesforce uh, admin development and areas like uh, Einstein and uh, even on uh, marketing clouds as well. Yeah, so now so we are here to know about a quick introduction of salesforce today so before i start uh, i would like to know like uh, uh, what are your backgrounds like are you from an it sector or non it sector or uh, you are already working on salesforce uh, like uh, you 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 uh, are you came, uh, coming here to just uh, brush up your knowledge kind of Anyone? Uh, so I would like to make this session as interactive rather than just me speaking and you listening. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. So this is Akhil. Uh, myself, I'm from non-IT background. So yes, I'm looking forward. Okay, great. How about others? Anyone from IT who is having uh, experience or uh, in uh, Java, Oracle, or uh, .NET, anything?
Okay. Wait. So today, this is what is our agenda. Like we'll see what is an industrial revolution. Like, uh, what are the different? I uh, mean, what do you mean by legacy technology? What is cloud computing? Then Salesforce. We'll compare Salesforce with legacy technologies. Advantages of Salesforce and job opportunities. Okay, uh, a very high level. Okay, I'll just uh, make it quick. Uh, so I want to show more on uh, Salesforce rather than just uh, uh, look at showing you on the presentations. Yeah. So this is about the industrial revolution as everyone knows uh, the first industrial revolution started on steam. I don't want to <coughs> You to remember the dates and all because that is uh, I mean Yeah, it's from uh, six uh, late six seventeen hundreds to early 1800s and then uh, you have electricity where uh, most of the organization started using power right and then People are still thinking that we are actually in uh, uh, computing. I mean, industrial third industrial revolution, which is on computers, but actually we are not. We are into fourth industrial revolution, where we have intelligence. Rather, I would call it as artificial intelligence. Where in third industrial revolution, if let's say Govind wants to speak with the system, if Govind wants to ask the system to do some activity, he has to share some commands to the system saying that uh, asking the system to add a record, delete a record, do some activity, whatever. But when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution, which is today, Govind don't have to write logics. He don't have to write the script that says for system will understand because he has Siri who will search uh, uh, for his contacts. Let's say if he wants to call his father, he'll just say, uh, hey Siri, call my father. That's it, right? Or he has Alexa to speak, uh, to read the headlines of today's news. Only thing is he just have to say, hey Alexa, read the headlines. That's it, right? So systems are ready to talk to you to give you a right response in a human language, right? Now, not just Salesforce, the entire lo a lot of new technologies that are coming or evolving in the market are mainly working on fourth industrial revolution where they are trying to build an intelligence in their system so that everyone or any person who is not from an IT background who don't even know what is an IT can use that particular product. Okay. Then uh this is about uh the software uh, uh, development life cycle for uh application which is built in legacy technologies but before we jump into the details can someone tell me why do we need an application like can't we live without an app Yes, of course you cannot, right? For example, these days, the moment you wake up, you'll check what what uh, what are the messages that you got in your WhatsApp, right? And if I want to travel somewhere, I'll open my Uber or Ola to see if the distance is too far. I better go by a cab rather than book, uh, taking my own car because looking at the traffic that is there in my uh, uh, area, which is in Bangalore, right? And during COVID. Let's say if I want to get some vegetables or groceries, I open. I used to open big, big basket very often, or Amazon for that matter, right? So you have lots and lots of applications which are supporting or which which slowly has become a part of your daily routine, right? So let's say these apps are built on legacy platforms or legacy technologies like like when i say legacy it is about the old technologies like your it could be your c plus plus python or uh, uh, anything like S sql uh, sql build, build something on your sql servers any of them right so basically what is an application so an application is a product which came from a matured idea that you had in resolving a problem right so let's say 
for example now uh, let's say i want to book uh, a cab so earlier what i used to do is before this ola and uber <coughs> i have to go outside wait on the road stay for a person who just passes on my way and i used to ask him bro can you come to this uh, uh, area from uh, from this place or i used to call some person who is a travel agent ask me to uh, reserve a car for me and send it to my home so both are little difficult uh, things right i have to wait for them or uh, like i have to uh, waste a lot of time right so instead if we have some application like uber or ola to build uh, uh, to uh, uh, to make sure that a person who wants to use that app can have can uh, utilize this facility whenever they want whether at any point of time then we have to go with the application so this is the idea that i had i have seen the market people are roaming outside for cabs so i thought like okay i will i'll build something so that people start using my application and start building it so i built it but for this i have to provide a server a software and uh, i mean a software to build the application I forget about the application to build the application i need some software right it could be java or oracle or anything right or uh, i have to define the user access security model has to be defined all these things has to be taken care right which ideally takes lots and lots of time so generally if, um, if it is on legacy platform you have to spend around a year right but the problem in this is the entire infrastructure is maintained by the application owner itself where for example a very simple example about the server so when, when i speak about server server has a user capacity it will say that hey at any point of time i can handle 100 users what if 500 people wants to use not possible what if thousand people wants to use not at all possible right so looking at your uh, names i feel most of you are from india itself right so uh, if you remember there is a portal called irctc which uh we regularly use to book uh, your train tickets right so at least before 2015 or 16 in fact uh, so it was very hard for us to get a ticket in that uh, irctc portal in fact i'm one of the person who used to uh, go to the trains when i was there in hyderabad go, used to go to the railway stations and uh, stay there in a queue for overnights just to make sure that i'll get the tickets because i do know that this portal will definitely crash during that uh, tatkal time right so sometimes I, I in fact when i tried uh, sometimes it used to just hang up my entire system when i was at the payments when i was choosing the trains or when i was choosing the destination any point of time sometimes after doing the payments it's simply sh showing me that it's completely it's it's still working on it but end of the day my amounts got deducted but tickets were never confirmed that is because your irctc portal will built on a legacy platform right to avoid all this of course enforcers i think if i'm not wrong they have moved it to cloud so we have something called cloud computing so here actually why that used to hang all the time because the as it is a server earlier was around 50 lakh users not more than that that the server capacity uh, that our indian railway server has but when you compare with indian population even at that time which is our uh, which is a clue which is more or less 100 crores right it nowhere matches right so that is why as too many people are trying to hit the server server is not able to understand to whom should i respond at what point of time so that is why when ram searched for a particular train it showed me a response and when i'm ram is going for a payment that time it thought like okay ram already has searched uh, requested for something i so i have responded him now it is shramani's time or when Shramini is searching for it, uh, she allowed uh, system allowed her to log in. When Sandeep is trying for it, system allowed him to do the payment. So end of the day, no one is getting anything. Suddenly the system itself used to crash and it used to crash the entire program also. 
so that is where we have seen a lot of lots and lots of issues yeah and what how this enforcers have avoided the problem so they have changed this uh, by pushing it to cloud so okay ram what is cloud is it like some cloud will be there on the sky and that will hold everything no so there will be a service provider so basically if you see the left side is an on premise application which is this the legacy which is built on based on legacy platform right the other, other one is on the right side which is a uh, cloud computing techno uh, we have three types of services which are infrastructure platform and software right so here it's like a service model where you will have a service provider they'll do half of the job of yours and you can do the rest so here you have something called infrastructure where your amazon web services comes into picture where they'll say hey i will give you the server i'll give you the storage i'll manage the number of users also you don't worry about it but you manage the rest like defining your application or it could be the middleware which helps you to do in the uh, integrations so what kind of integrations are the payment gateway the best example right operating system you need some OS to install in your uh, that bad particular black box to build your application right or uh, all of them has to be maintained when you uh, or by the subscriber or the owner of the resource when you are going for infrastructure as a service when it comes to platform as a service only subscriber uh, sorry uh, only two things that the subscriber has to go with is building an application and maintaining uh, maintaining the data rest all will be taken care by your service provider how come because they are giving you a platform already where you don't have to install anything in your system the moment you open this is uh, that application you log in you build the system that you want so this is where the first step of salesforce comes into picture that is force.com platform yeah so we'll have a default platform even uh, and that too this is the base license of salesforce with this you can build your own applications next one you'll have a software as a service where uh, the actual salesforce licenses are available where along with the licenses that we are going to buy from salesforce uh, it will give you some market standard applications as well like sales service communities multiple things and it says these are the apps which are defined at the market standard and it also says that if you want to use them use it if not you can customize it also okay why customizing it ram because when i speak about salesforce so honestly speaking there is no market standard right because for example let's say if i'm selling mobiles if i want to sell a mobile then uh, first of all i have to advertise and then uh, i should make sure that people are aware of it then people will start inquiring about the product and then they'll start uh, if the they feel like uh, if, if the people feel like i'm offering a best price in the market then only they, they will buy not just for mobile it could be for car or anything right but for example let's say i have a small grocery store on the road i don't have to do all this right i don't have to do a marketing right because this is which is a, a basic requirement for everyone right all the groceries so i'll just keep there and i'll just idly sit people will come and buy i might use salesforce for my accounting purpose but i don't have i don't need this sales process right which is built by salesforce or even if you go for a, a bigger uh, uh, brands of cars like lamborghini or <clears throat> rolls royce so have you ever seen a single ad posted by lamborghini or uh, rolls royce they don't need it customers will run behind them <coughs> does it mean that uh, they don't follow any sales process they do have their own sales process but not the standard one which is available in the market right so that is why what salesforce did is it has given you a standard sales process and it of course says that hey if you want to use the same as is you can make use of it or if you want to customize it a bit so that it works for your purpose which means that i will have uh, inquiries inquiries will be converted to opportunities all this okay you use it but you say that okay i won't do any advertisements that's fine you remove the campaigning part that's what salesforce is 
and someone will say no 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 yaar yeah, i don't want i have a direct customer for like for example if you go to the companies like ibm and all they are least bothered about becoming a lead, getting a lead and converting because the the moment i look at the brand called ibm i first of all i have to think okay do i have enough budget to get a product from ibm yes then i'll directly go i i won't think about anything right either it could be ibm or deloitte or accenture because i know they will give me a quality service right the applications that they build for me will be on at the, at the top notch quality so for them they don't need for this entire sales process but of course they will have the customers they'll maintain all these transactions so they need sales but not the standard sales so they can they also can make use of your sales uh, sales force license as well yeah so these are the different examples of uh, your uh, different types of uh, cloud computing technologies that are available for software as a service as i said salesforce is available for platform as a service you can have uh, force.com platform or your google app engine or heroku and for infrastructure you have lot many and people are not using these many actually yeah any questions so far is that going good or uh am uh, is the session so boring anyone good then so salesforce uh, has a sorry, before that you, yes sorry ma'am uh, before that so we have segregated the three time right like uh, and that this four years yeah uh can you please explain what is exactly the things which one it is like you can uh, uh like short term language a a s s before i s p a s n s a s ah correct yes okay so infrastructure as a service is nothing but uh, uh <clears throat> this is one type of service which is provided by the cloud computing the service providers where they'll just maintain your service okay i mean they'll they'll just maintain the servers they'll maintain the number of users but it's like if you want to build the application you need some software right that software you have to install in that black box it's like i'm just giving you a space i'm asking that hey go with just go and uh, this is the space just go and build your application now when go going comes back to me and he sees or for example if i say uh, so you want to cook something so i said okay there is a room that is available in my building you just go there and cook now govin came back to me and he said like ram there is no stuff you bring your own stuff there is no vegetables you bring your own vegetables no oil you bring yours my thing my my point is you need a space i'm giving you a space that's it there is what ias will do infrastructure as a service basic infrastructure they will provide next thing platform as a service same cooking example so when i say platform as a service now i'll call govin i'll i'll give him a space with basic platforms without uh, basic some uh, some basic utensils without uh, stove he cannot cook anything so those things i will give but now he says like hey i want to bring uh, uh, bring uh, i want to be, make a potato fry then i'll say you bring your potato i'm not responsible for what product that you are cooking i'm responsible to provide some basic utensils that you have to cook right and someone says that i want to make a chicken curry you bring your chicken and you do your your uh, your cooking i don't mind now when it comes to server uh, service provider so, uh, sorry as uh, a software as a service here the software is provided to you as a service it has everything i will say <clears throat> that uh, when you go with this so i'll 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 give you a space i'll give you the utensils and at the same time i'll give you all the raw materials with half cooked or half baked now you'll have every product available here that is that you need in the market that to generic right if you want to use chicken then i'll say hey there is a chicken packet over there just uh, uh, keep it uh, make it a bit warm and then you eat it 
that's it now govin says no no i don't want this chicken gravy i want to do something else with chicken then i'll say okay you you customize it that is what is your software as a service they have built an application providing to you as a service the best example is your facebook or linkedin or it could be your uh, twitter so these are all the softwares provided to you as a service but who are you there you are just an end user but who are we going to be a developer who build that app who is going to build that application is that clear okay. thank you so much So Salesforce gives you a 360 degree view. I will call it as bird eye view where I can see anything and everything about my customer. Like a customer wants to do some sales. Of course, we already spoke about sales. After sales was comes to your mind. Uh, for example, uh, let's say I'm selling printers. If I or for example, let's say I'm selling just biscuits. So my job ends after sales, right? Because people will start eating the biscuits. Maybe they might come back and say that, hey, your biscuits are not tasty or very good. So if they say that not tasty, then my next product, I'll make sure that the things are tasty, but I cannot jump into their stomach, uh, keep, uh, bring that biscuit out and change the taste of the biscuit and feed, it, feed them back, right? That's not possible. So when I'm just selling the food products, so my job ends at sales but let's say if i'm selling printers or if i'm selling mobiles so you won't simply buy a mobile let's say if you are getting an iphone uh, which is actually costing around seventy thousand if you are getting it for thirty thousand or even for twenty thousand you won't simply buy right you people are fond of iphones because their products are pretty much good right they do have well versed service centers across the globe right so you can go anywhere but now iphone says apple says that hey i'm gonna sell my products for 20 percent or 30 percent but please don't ask me if products are not working fine and i'm not i'm going to close all my service centers will you go and buy the same product same iphone 14 which is available for one lakh earlier now it is available for 20 twenty thousand. there is no guarantee no warranty you won't buy it right so then these organizations have to look upon service what if he mystery bought a product from my organization what if she is facing a problem or what if she needs some accessories so those are all assets for me now Hemistry is becoming an assert, sorry, the, the, the phone that I have sent, uh, sold to <clears throat> Hemistry become an assert for me, right? Because it is continuously generating a revenue for my organization. Hemistry will come back he, he might say that, she might say that, Ram, I need some earpods for it. Later on, she might say that, hey, I, my charging port has to be cleaned up properly. Or she might say that, hey, it's been more than five years, so, the battery is draining uh, very fast now i want to replace my battery right this is where i should think about a service model if the service centers are not available you won't buy uh, that product at all in the market right and second thing is for doing this first of all i should attract people like <clears throat> parishram or it could be sandeep or himishri or, or or akhil any one of you to my organization how do i do i need to do some marketing right so i need to post some advertisements or i need to show some free goodies or i might have to send some emails all this so those things will be taken care of by marketing and uh, it's not that popular but like the way you have your amazon or flipkart you can build an e-commerce site even in your facebook sorry even in your salesforce also okay and you can your Build your own applications analytics like to analyze your data we have a product called einstein analytics which counts as a part of a new license this is not for free 
integrations the m says that it's a mule soft so one of the biggest purchases of salesforce so there is one powerful tool called mule soft which helps you to integrate between any different systems right mule soft helps you to uh, integrate between uh, uh, salesforce and any other system not just salesforce eh, between any technologies but salesforce what they did two years back during the covid period uh, they have bought this organization itself so it became a part of salesforce then you have employee experience this is actually called as quip which exactly works like your google drive so let's say how many are there around uh, we are around 13 14 plus people in this session now <clears throat> let's say i want to share a word document with all of you and i want to make sure that all your contacts or your personal details are captured properly so what should i do if i simply give you a word file to each and every one of you then let's say i have distributed a, a simple word file to all uh, 14 of you or 15 of you in one shot then what will happen Shweta will respond to me saying that her name is Shweta, uh, her uh, 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 initial is some XYZ, and uh, her phone number is some 1234, her email ID is Shweta at gmail.com or something. Similarly, Venkatesh will send me, Parashuram will send me, Sai will send me. Again, I have to collate all this. But what if I have sent you a Google form, or what if I have given you a simple spreadsheet? Then the moment Himashri opens it, she will start filling it. Then the moment at the same time, if Nitisha opens the same document, she'll say that, okay, Himashri is filling at row two. I will go with row three. Then Sai Akhil, he'll say, I'll go with row four. Shweta will go for row six. So without disturbing others' data, I am able to capture every one of yours. So that is what is there in Quip also. So it helps you to give you or share your document, which can be edited by anyone, everyone, uh, sorry, anyone at any point of time. And there is something called trailblazers. So this is one of the powerful concept of Salesforce where the uh, existing users of Salesforce, if there is any uh, updates on Salesforce, basically Salesforce comes up with three releases, like it updates three times every year. So every updates will be uh, seen here. You can rescale yourself. And it's been used in different industries, like it's been used in pharma, it's in in uh, oil and gas, it's in education, it's it's in finance, it's in uh, banking sector, it's in uh, healthcare, it's it's even in uh, real estate sectors also. So these are the different areas where Salesforce is there. And in fact, I'm not just speaking about the bigger organizations. There are very small organizations that is, that are available just in India itself who are completely dependent on Salesforce, even if their annual turnover is not more than 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs. Why? Because most of the business people have seen a tremendous growth in their, pro in their profits after using Salesforce. Why? Because the out-of-box automation features that are available in Salesforce, which will automate your entire business just in few days, right? Then, uh, yeah, so basically Salesforce follows a multi-tenant architecture where it won't give you entire space in the service. They'll give you a dedicated space, like you're buying a flat in an apartment where uh, you will have uh, resources like power, water, or maintenance costs, which is minimum, right? But the same space, sorry the, the entire apartment you'll have multiple people who is who will be using the same resources right salesforce will follow the same thing and to make sure that you are not overriding the other uh, your peers or your neighbors uh, orgs right so salesforce has some limits called governor limits and uh, so every feature that we have in salesforce has your own, has a go own uh, governor limit and i will discuss what all those limits and each and every concept that we are going to discuss in future yeah and uh, now this is very simple the moment you get an idea you, uh, earlier uh, it's like you have to build the entire infrastructure but now it's like you get a salesforce license start building your application and the beauty of salesforce is it is by default it supports you on the desktop or tab or mobile 
so this is where the the best part comes into picture because earlier if an application has to be worked on mobile then uh, you will have to have a themer or a web designer who will build a responsive screens on mobile and all but these days in salesforce it is not required only thing is there are certain options it will be asked like do you want to enable this on mobile or not so if you just go with go and check those options by building the application it will be enabled by default and this basically reduces the time of your uh, application building so earlier it was like almost a year it used to take a build an application but now there are app where we can build it in a couple of days also oh every time i forgot okay so he is the uh, ceo of uh, uh, salesforce mr mark banyev he is the one who started salesforce in 1999 and uh, they all uh, he always comes up with one word called the fourth industrial revolution starts with very important point called trust so if my customer is not trusting me which means if the customer feels that okay there is a data breach which i didn't discuss till doubt right so when i speak about cloud one question that everyone might have is okay what if the data got breached so or what if the hackers hacked my system so you can go back and check Till date, there is no data breach from 1999 in Salesforce. Why? Because the security systems of Salesforce are that great. Even if I know the credentials of yours, it, it won't allow me to log in. In fact, you might have seen this. Uh, if you are these days, if you are trying to log into your Facebook account or Gmail account from a new device, it will ask for a verification code, right? If you have observed it. So it is being implemented in Facebook, Gmail or uh, uh, twitter and all from 2016 but salesforce has it from 2007 or 6 itself right so forget about uh, hacking the data it won't even allow you to log in the system also to hack the data you need to con uh, connect to some different tools where it will ask for a code called security token which is a combination of 18 characters which is uh, with which uh, multiple combinations so which is impossible to hack and uh, how many of you are using iPhones? Anyone? Or Androids? Or is there anyone who is not using a smartphone? Any smartphone for that matter. It could be iPhone or Android or any other mobile. No one, right? Why we are using this iPhones or Android? Why not uh, our... Uh, earlier models like nokia triple one zero triple one two all this because they are very strong right and we do have uh, some good mobiles in nokia and all where it will help you to listen to songs all this but why we are came why we are started using uh, mobiles uh, which are smart continuous updates uh not continuous updates so it has various features first thing is i would say it's you will have an app store or uh, in, in android you call it as play store right so we'll call it as play store in uh, android where i can install some applications for communications right or maybe uh, for traveling like for communications like your whatsapp for traveling like your uh, uh, maybe your red bus or uber or ola or make my trip any of these websites or uh, for daily uses like your big baskets right to get your uh, milk or groceries right and e-shopping right your amazon flip card these things are not possible in your normal mobiles right that is where you are using your uh, your smart mobiles right and so they came up with a product called or a marketplace where you can install these apps and use it and you know what that domain itself for example play store right you got the play store google came up with a word called play store after apple correct first apple came up with app store looking at it i'm not saying that google copied it but google came up with its own play store called app store sorry play store right but the app store name itself belongs to this guy as he is the friend of steve jobs 
he has gifted that domain itself to apple and you, you can go back and uh, search for this after the session in fact and he came up with a new word called app exchange this is the marketplace in salesforce where let's say if ram is not getting a job in salesforce i don't have an issue if i have a good idea i'll start building an application and talk to salesforce tell them that hey i have built a wonderful app this is the business case this is a solution this is what i have built then they will help me to complete the review and post this in their app exchange in their marketplace and if people are interested people will start using it the more people using it the more revenue will be generated okay same way as your app store and uh, uh, play store but you can say okay ram uh, there is no too many reviews for my app store or play store if i want to up any of my custom applications why in salesforce because salesforce goes with one word called trust let's say ram has built an application which will easily override all the security models and allow the hackers to hack the data then definitely they won't allow me to but first put this in their app exchange tool because when i'm breaching some data i'm not breaching the my customer information i'm breaching salesforce customer information right so that is where they'll have at least three months review on your application to see how is the design what are the patterns you follow what kind of uh, uh, security systems you uh, security features you have used how is the ui is it market standard or not all these things will be verified these numbers are not required pretty old uh this is how the salesforce has evolved uh it's, i just have it till 2016 itself i'm not getting a good image like this uh post that and this is very important so if you go to twitter let me just bring that tweet to you uh, so this i would say it's one of the important slides uh why because uh, see you won't switch uh, like this but especially for the people who are switching the ten technologies right so one second let me just see yeah so let's say if the growth is not there in this technology if they are not growing if that uh, if the salesforce company itself is not growing which means that they are losing customers which means the technology is getting saturated and which which also means that you won't get job in it right you will get saturated but looking at this figures or one of the recent quotes that is given by salesforce head is marked by nf see the growth they are they have expected that uh, the system will by 2024 they are expecting that uh, the revenue will be 35 billion dollar but as of now they they have been their guidance not target i'm not saying target because they have already achieved 50 percent of it in q2 and they are already 31 billion dollar company okay ram how does it matter for us for people like us so if the company is growing which means that their customers are growing right if the customers are growing then the requirement of building the applications in salesforce is growing of course if the requirement of building an application is growing then it uh, directly or indirectly asks for the demand of more developers right so that is where your growth also lies if you are into salesforce and you can see this is an official tweet from this fellow mark Vanyev and this is where sales was started and there's other reasons yeah now okay ram these are fine but what are we gonna learn so these are the different tracks that you have in salesforce you can choose any of the career paths uh, so i think for this session we are looking mainly into administrations and the developments 
so you will have uh, and these are the different certification tracks that are available in salesforce so when you go with admin you can go with admin advanced admin uh developers pd1 pd2 consultants you can go with sales service community field service lightning and if you want to be an architect uh, you can be an application architect or you can be a system architect and finally the uh, one of the aspirations of any of the developers is technical architect and you can become a cpq specialist or marketing cloud specialist any of them what are we gonna learn so in this course i'm going to train you in both admin uh, and development so uh, first of all you have to go with administrator and once you have some experience you will have a, a chance to go with advanced admin when it comes to development again it's the same first you'll go with pd1 and then you will go with pd2 as well yeah course content uh, you might have already seen uh, or you might get it okay um see out of 100 organizations if you ask me these days 99 organizations is using salesforce okay there is no company which in it is not using salesforce it could be you can pick any bigger organizations ibm wipro accenture deloitte or uh, uh, companies like there are smaller organizations like cloudbus epidemic cloud popcorn apps all these they have completely moved into salesforce itself and oil and gas industries like you you have your british petroleum or for example uh, your city bank right uh, uh, no one knows city group i won't even say simple city bank because in india we know city is used only for banking sector but when it goes to us it is there in multiple areas they are into financial working sector also 70 percent of city group transaction is completely based on salesforce itself and by the way your paytm is using salesforce Do you, uh, does anyone know that the back end of paytm is salesforce itself and your Redbus, if you're from India, if you are aware of uh, a to, uh, an application called Redbus, they are using Salesforce. And one of the wonderful learning apps that is available in the market uh, in India now is Baichu's. They are based on Salesforce. And any other examples that you want, uh, Bhagat? Uh, hey, Ram, uh, why? Uh, what is Salesforce providing which? other companies were not providing why were they moving to migrate into salesforce yeah one is okay. cloud okay it's on the cloud second one is the user uh, interface right so the ui of salesforce uh, for example after building an application uh, i mean i never faced it but uh, most of my um, uh, cousins who are working in other technologies it is like uh, they have to conduct a user trainings for at least a month like for example if it is an sap or it in it could be uh, the likes of java or oracle and all so they have to train them hey this is the this is what you have to do this is what you have to do but when it comes to salesforce right uh, i will take a simple example did anyone help you or do you have a facebook account by any chance facebook or linkedin yes i do did anyone train you to how to use facebook or how to upload your pictures or say or uh, these things no. your uh, images same as salesforce only thing is you should know what is you what you need that's it in your business right so you no one trained you in facebook because you know what to do you someone said like hey uh, the moment you start using facebook you can chat with people so you have seen where the chat option is the moment you start facebook you can share your post you have seen where you can share your post same thing if i know what i have to do in my business forget about salesforce so for example i need to raise a leave request so have you uh, if you are working uh, so no one taught me in my organization how do i raise a leave request right but when i opened it i got confused i have lot many different types of leaves then whenever i apply a leave because i i go for uh, uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, maybe once in a quarter or six months, I'll take leave. Not very. I'm not that uh, 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 taking leave very often, at least uh, from past four or five years, because of the work that I'm having in office. Uh, so whenever I have to apply a leave, I will call my colleague who have recently applied for leave and I'll say, hey, these are the options because there are around ten options for us. And every time I used to check with them, which option I have to choose. Right, so it's a very simple tool, but still I have to go with it. <coughs> Sorry, but in Salesforce it's very easy. If you know what you have to do, then the options will itself will tell you like what you are supposed to do also. So that is one of the biggest advantage of Salesforce. And next thing is low code automation. What is this automation is fine, but what is this low code automation? So Salesforce has a lot of out of box features where it can be upgradable automatically. You don't have to, uh, let's say, most of the technologies, right? For example, uh, if you're using WhatsApp, right? Uh, so once in a quarter or once in three, four, uh, three, four months, you will get a notification. Hey, uh, hey, Shamni, uh, there is an update in WhatsApp. If you update this, if you say, okay, then we'll push all those updates where you can get some uh, notifications or you can change the colors of the text all this right salesforce will never ask you it will automatically upgrade your system you don't have to wait whether this will update today or not not required it will be upgradable automatically and does it mean right okay Ram, when we update something right those new updates may not support my older versions that is nowhere in salesforce so the moment it updates it doesn't mean that it is not going to uh, not it's not going to support any of the few feature, uh, old features it will at the same time it will show you new features also so these are the lot of advantages when i say low code automation using these automation tools you can automate your business by just using point and clicks and salesforce always supports point and click features like for example when i click on this slide it is going to my next slide when i click on up arrow it is going to the previous slide so i just point it out here and just clicked on it which means this is something that uh, sales my uh, system can understand okay ram is looking for next slide or a previous slide same ways or if i want to create a file in my system what you'll do i'll just right click click on new folder just give a name right similarly there are a lot of automation rules where you can define it as in, in, in that manner itself so the time to build an application have reduced a lot that's where i was telling you right so in a couple of weeks there are day, there are applications where you can build an application within a couple of weeks itself so earlier it used to take a years and years but now it has gone down because no company these days no company is competing with others like earlier days like earlier if you have seen it's you every time every quarter when uh, wipro is announcing their quarter as a q1 results infosys also used to release there is a competition between the organizations but these days the competition is between the organization and the time how fast we can deliver that is what they are looking for and that speedy delivery with a sustainable delivery and a scalable uh, applications uh, can be built in Salesforce. These are the main reasons why people are jumping towards like the Salesforce and that too. They have various licenses. Not it's not like if I go with Salesforce, I have to just go with uh, of course Salesforce is not that cheap. Huh? They are costly. So uh, it's uh, Salesforce has various products. There are licenses which starts from uh, $10, which uh, even uh, then it will go to $10,000 also. So depending on your requirement, you can pick the product. And of course, Salesforce team will support you to choose the right product. It doesn't mean that, okay, as you came uh, like the other, uh, like generally when you go to any uh, any stores and all, right? Uh, or if you go with uh, for any shopping, so the salesman will show you the product which is actually more than you require right but salesforce will show you what you need where you can save your money and of course 
it will become a best fit to your actual requirement did i answer your question uh, yes thank you Um, yeah so now i'll speak about codes uh, i wish i have that ppt or the so can i ask yes. one doubt here yeah can sir you told about what salesforce can do but is there any limitations which salesforce can't do yeah mm, we do have their own software yeah we do have okay. limitations so i i'm not saying that salesforce is the only best tool that is available in the market we do have uh, 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 some limitations and salesforce is not the best fit for every problem that you have in it right just give me a minute let me search the course content yeah so salesforce won't help you to build a product okay so it's not a tool which will build to build your build a product for you rather it will build a software which will support your product i would say that is one of the disadvantage yeah so these are the two codes uh, uh, two things that i'm going to discuss i think this is just a clone yeah so here we'll discuss about uh, fundamentals and uh, how do we define the uh, applications what are the standard applications and of course you will get the sheet uh, uh, from the uh, career it so we'll discuss about how security has been defined what are the different automations that we have and how do we generate reportings and reporting one of the, is one of the best features of salesforce it's an out of box feature where uh, you can easily create reports on any of the data that you have created and we'll see one standard features of sales and service processes as well because there are some automation rules that have to be covered in that area right and this itself will take around 20 sessions right to complete the entire course content that i'm showing you post that we'll go with development in development uh, <clears throat> okay by the way the admin of salesforce is not uh, similar or uh, the same as admin definition that you see in any other technologies because when you speak about admin uh, uh, you will think about okay he is the person who will uh, work on the networking securities permissions all this but here that is not the same he is the person who can create the application he is the person who can create the tables he is the person who can automate the application he is of course a person who can manage the users as well right so everything that can be done using point and click can be done using admin activities for example let's say let me log into salesforce This is how your application looks like. So this all this this application, or it could be this tabs, this reports, or for example, if I want to insert a record, all these things can be built by admin itself, right? And you can do some automations also. For example, uh, let's say a very simple example is when you do a transaction in your bank account, you will get a notification saying that, uh, hey, sir, you have trans uh, you have transferred some ten thousand rupees from your account to some someone else account, right? We can show those notifications also. And let's say if Sai requires an approval from his manager about his leave, what he is going to do? That can be taken care in Salesforce also, yeah. without writing a single line of code. I'm highlighting this, okay? then now if we can do all of them in the admin itself then why development because development is the place where it will help you to avoid the problems that you have faced in your admin 
but ram just now you said like you are in atgun you can do uh, uh, you can build applications automations all this using point and clicks then what are the things that are missing custom uis see if i go with this for example if i if i want to create an account so it is showing some ui correct if i want to go to contact and create a new contact some other ui but more or less same right if i go to cases everywhere it will be the same thing but now customer says hey the moment i open an account i want to create a default contact or i want to do some automation where or the i want a custom user interface this is not sufficient for me let's say when i open an account or a contact i want to see the name in green color others in blue color something else in red color so i'm not saying that is wrong uh, uh, perception but of course it depends uh, on uh, organization to organization what kind of expectations that they have it depends on the business so such expectations can be easily uh, cracked using your development so in the development again you will have two parts one is backend that is apex which is more or less similar to your java object uh, if you know the basics of object oriented programming that should be enough post that we'll discuss about lightning where uh, we'll discuss the lightning components uh, for the custom ui where we can build it okay when it speaks about apex uh, it will tell you how to come uh, have uh, handle complicated logics which cannot be handled using admin right and uh, it will al even help you to schedule something like let's say if bank is giving you some interest every year so how that can be calculated uh, all these things can be easily so uh, seen in your development not in admin admin it need uh, it has some limitations so when i'm discussing about every feature uh, i'll tell you those limitations also so course can uh, will be somewhere around 40 45 sessions uh, i would say 2025 or 2520 like i'll as i'm mixing the concepts so uh, overall uh, the sessions will be 40 to 45 on an average i'm just saying it could increase also i'm not uh, uh, saying that uh, it will be limited yeah that's all i have anyone has any questions i think someone ping me something um hey ram do we need any prior knowledge uh, before we go to the uh, development sessions on concepts and all uh, yeah Bhagat, uh, very good question so i'll go with admin first admin zero knowledge not required anything if you know how to manage your excel sheet uh, a very basics of excel sheet that should be enough but when it comes to development as it the name itself tells you development you should have uh, it will be great to have some prayer knowledge on uh, uh, object oriented programming a little about html like it should not be a surprise when i speak about some html class for you uh, at least you should know like what is html how to start how to end uh, and what is css how do we apply colors the very very basics and of course even if you are not aware if you want to if you are very much interested uh, i will share you some links which are very easy to understand and uh, easy to learn also yeah it would be helpful thank you yeah. but i won't be able to cover those html javascript or java sessions in this uh, salesforce session because as the session itself is about salesforce so i will be discussing more on salesforce itself yeah, but I'll show you how do we leverage them in Salesforce. If you are right, if I'm writing a line of code, I'll make sure that that particular line is clear to you. Then only I'll go to the next line. And finally, something which is very important, but I actually forgot is I'm not going to explain you the concept by concept. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead of explaining you Con, I mean concept after concept like every feature and then at the end asking giving you a document to understand the flow of the Salesforce or uh, I mean, uh, To build a new application in your system rather what we'll do is right from day one We will look or we'll create a business case first 
using that business case will start building the application okay and when i'm building the application we'll make sure each and every concept that is available here or the feature that is available here is covered we'll discuss about these features and at the same time we are going to apply these features on that business case that we have discussed so what happens is you'll get to know about the feature and you will see where it is right fit into the actual business case that we are going to discuss so that in future even if you are going for the interviews so like any other technologies basically even in salesforce also for every problem statement you'll have to three to four solutions but when how can i pick ganesh as the right person in the crowd if ganesh speaks about the right solution out of these three so i will make sure that you will stand in that position for sure right so that is how i'm gonna cover which means by end of the sessions you will have uh, application built in your systems not in my system so whatever the login that i have shown you right we you can also create uh, the free edition of salesforce which is lifetime free it won't be there just for uh, during the sessions you can make use of it or you can uh, use it as a reference in your future also any questions anyone the sessions will be daily for two hours or how it is like how it's conducted you told uh, that is like 40 to 40 days hour, yep, it will be for one hour a day uh five days a week uh and of course you will get all the recordings and the further details uh from the career it folks mm -hmm. okay. the rest of the information i can get from them you mean to say yep okay Come, but this training, everything is online itself. Yes, it is. So, um, the actually like I have a career break like around ten to twelve years. So, do you think like uh, I can do it? I can means it. It might be looking silly for you if I ask this. No, but, no. no. Uh, <laughs> that's what I can. I start off with uh, because a few of my cousins told this is a better option for you when you're thinking of career. So better you start off with sales motion uh, have a career uh, gap of 12 years so being a sales being from uh, a salesforce community member i would say uh, we have a wonderful word uh, for especially for the people like bharati that is come back or welcome back not just oh, right. uh, saying come back i'll say welcome back oh very good and how about the career options will we should will you people show us like or we should uh, do I means of course from our end we'll be trying definitely but uh, can we have a helping hand from your end uh, as far as i know career it have some connects they will help you in uh, floating your profile in the market okay. uh, is there anyone from career it can you answer this question Okay, I remember one word from uh, uh, Kerry folks. Uh, so they had connects with a uh, couple of uh, startups. Uh, so mm -hmm. they'll help you out there. Okay. Oh. The, how, about, how about the fee structure and all? Can I speak to those guys? Like, yeah, you something? can talk. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you. This sessions also like the time, timings will be in the morning or evening. What it is? How did you plan? Like, uh, yeah, mostly uh, mornings itself. My mornings. I'm from India, Bangalore. Uh, so okay. it will be around six or six thirty in the morning. Okay. Yeah, okay. you will get a proper confirmation now from the career writing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ram. Uh, hey Ram, while uh, dealing with session, uh, well, sessions, uh, Salesforce, will you be using the classic version of the Salesforce or the no. Lightning version? Uh, I will switch to classic very, uh, not not very often or not very frequent because uh, classic version of Salesforce, I will say, I'll show you. Uh, just the UID first, first thing between classic and lightning. This is the classic version. And uh, Salesforce switched to lightning uh, in 2014. So it's uh, two years less than a decade. They moved already into lightning, right? So no customers are using uh, classic actually. But 
if it is really required like if there is any feature that i want to show you on classic i will show you but 99 percent of the sessions or i would say 90 percent at least of the sessions will be on lightning itself because you don't need it first of all from eight years salesforce itself has turned into lightning and it's no one is using uh, classic features because from past one decade uh, uh salesforce has a tremendous change uh, in uh, in the in their customer uh, this thing so that is where uh, even in the tweet that i have shown you right uh, uh, the growth was shown from 2014 actually but of course if it is really required then definitely i'll switch thank you Any other questions uh, from anyone? So one question, this Akil here. Yeah. Sir, what do you suggest, sir? Like uh, the people with no coding background, okay, the people from non-IT background, uh, they have to start with the Salesforce admin or the Salesforce developer. What do you suggest? Okay, I will start with admin. Okay, whether uh, you are going to become a admin developer or not, that is secondary. Uh, but to start with a uh, to become an ad, a developer you should know the pros and cons of admin first so the start point is always admin okay, okay because then. you cannot jump into development uh, because uh, all fundamentals and uh, the security concepts everything will be covered in admin only I mean Salesforce when you go to Salesforce certifications and all they'll say that platform app builder and all for me uh as a person uh, who is who is there in the uh, in the technology for more than a decade i would consider it as like if you are doing something without writing a single line of code for me that is an admin activity so all those things will be covered in admin with pros and cons now development is a feature which will overcome the negatives or cons of your admin which means to know the development you should learn about admin first so that is where we'll cover admin and then we'll go to development okay sir thank you sir yeah no various roles uh let me see if it is roles in the sense uh, that's more like job oriented roles thank you don't look at this uh, salaries huh? uh, these are pretty old very very old numbers have gone actually so you'll have admins you'll have developers one key role is business analyst uh, business analyst is a person who is aware of development for example uh, uh, someone Bharati said like she is into IT. She was into IT 10 years back. Now she is into uh, She wants to uh, come, she wants to come back now what I'll say is Maybe she might face uh, Bharati, I'm sorry if you are take uh, feel bad. I'm just taking a random name okay? or let's say Ram is person who is coming back right? Not at all so, Not If if Bharati felt like uh, learning admin like coding is too difficult for her what she can do is she can know the concepts understand the concepts of development there are two ways right one is i am able to understand but i'm not able to uh, do it it's like driving a car i know how many gears are there i know how to switch the gears i know where the steering is i know where the accelerator and brake is but i never drove the car that person means he know the process but he don't know at what play i mean at what location or what time what speed has to be met so that kind of person is called as business analyst he knows the things but he don't know how to do it so he will become a business analyst he or she right where he can communicate 
the business saying that yes this is possible can be done in salesforce and let me go my go to my development team i'll come back with the right timings whether it could be done in one day or 10 days or 100 days right uh then crm manager i won't say this is something uh, we have something called delivery leads where we'll speak about only deliveries and uh, then these are complete product specific like if you can you can be a marketing cloud specialist or marketing cloud consultants and the project managers these are all the different roles that we have in salesforce but for you people what i would say is admin developer business analyst you can be a consultant sales or service consultant and you can be a tester also if you are able to see that screen uh, last word is tester so if you are a tester you can become a salesforce tester also because uh, what i see in the market these days there is a huge demand for salesforce testers and salesforce business analyst as well and of course developers is always a top notch Uh, like ram the so what you told is like as a tester also there is there are options for the in into into salesforce you mean to say yeah of course right for example <clears throat> if bharat joined because my previously, organization yeah previously i was into testing only so after that i took okay. it that's what because i felt it little positive <laughs> like, like uh, inspiring now after listening the word tester <laughs> so okay. so like do you have better options for like to go into testing also then you mean to say yeah so uh, it's this right like varidi knows how to test it so salesforce testing is very easy okay if you know salesforce i would say now varidi don't know anything about say, uh, salesforce but she said like she was a good tester she came to my organization and <clears throat> as you know always uh, developers or the team is always uh, uh, busy in building the application now once a new tester comes into my system i have to train him or her right from scratch saying that hey this is where you'll have table this is where this is because of this automation rule it is coming these are the different automation rules that you have all this instead of telling all this if bharati come at least uh, she is able to understand uh, when uh, uh, she is able to know the entire admin part and basics of development then i don't have to think about okay now why, why should i take i mean why should i spend a lot of time uh, for uh, 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 let her learn the system and all right so because again i have to spend uh, around a month or two uh, to train you on it so that one month or two months will be an add on for me on the project wait so that is where people are looking for salesforce testers or salesforce business analysts these days Any other questions? Anyone? And the numbers yes, you see, as I'm telling you again and again, these are very old. I'll tell you one simple example. Uh, one of my junior. left the organization very recently is a good resource uh, is around 3 and a half to 4 that's it and um, i tried to retain him but it was not possible for me looking at uh, the expectations and can someone tell me the number or can someone guess the number for 3 and a half years of experience what is the maximum number that you can hit in the market Thirty-four. Sir, one hundred forty here. Yeah, okay. Yes, thirty-four. Okay. Market so, valuation is fifteen. Sorry. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So my my guy cracked thirty-three. Thirty-three lakhs per annum in India. That's the market now. so rest all i'm leaving it to your expectations 
post covid sales force has grown like anything i'll show you the tweet again i'm not uh, uh just ex exaggerating this if you see i mean uh, before numbers they didn't show because they are these are very lesser so if you see here started with 4.1 till 18 and 19 13 right from 4 to 13 it took almost how many years six or seven but from here to 31 just four years just four years right <coughs> this is because the growth or the demand of salesforce has increased tremendously in the market now and by the way this won't fall down this won't fall down for sure at least for one more decade so your jobs are secured if you are into salesforce for at least for one more decade so you don't have to worry about it and again i'm not saying that you have to learn this technology at any cost come to the come to us and all but if you are looking for something new to learn then I would recommend Salesforce is one of the best options these days. Like in your this thing you told you'll be giving the training about the admin and the development. Okay. Yeah. Once if you are through these two trainings, can we pick up with the rest of the things the other eight options you have given like cloud and all something like so can we on, on ourselves can we pick up all that also ourselves we can yeah, pick up so a couple of them uh, yeah most of them needs uh, own licenses uh, your own licenses so whatever the things that we can do using the uh, free editions uh, i'm going to discuss like that is what is at both admin and development and of course in sales and service uh, service consultants also i'll show you what are the different processes that you have so that will be easier but post that let's say if you want to learn analytics it needs a license right or uh, let's say if you want to learn marketing cloud it needs a license so that you can learn once you go to your organization because i cannot show my uh, Og uh, license to you, right? So that's one reason I we won't train in this. But yeah, when you when I go to the corporate trainings and all, we'll do it. Hey Ram, yeah. uh, one more thing. Uh, uh, the class timings won't fit for me because I'll be working at that time. So if at all I take the off. Uh, uh, I get the records and uh, uh, have any queries. How do I? Uh, how can I approach after that? Uh, see, for all communications, I would suggest you to connect with the career IT folks itself. Uh, they'll help you for sure on it. They'll give you a better suggestion rather than me. Because so I'll speak about my timings if you ask me. But uh, when you talk to them, they'll check in which way you are. Com I mean, what are the what are the uh, best time zones that uh, we can connect? Okay, thank you. So, is there any way where I can send email queries or if at all I have to you so that you can respond or? Yeah, it uh, so everything uh, the routing should come from career IT itself. Uh, so it, it's been uh, more than five years that uh, we are uh, attached. Uh, so I prefer to go in the same way. Okay, that's all good. Thank you. Anyone? So you got okay, better then. opportunities in India itself, right? In uh, like uh, metropolitan cities, like uh, after finishing this. So as per our uh, capability or whatever it is. So the end of the yeah. day, we, can, we have better options in this metro, like Hyderabad, Bangalore, South India, I can say. You have a better options into Salesforce, you mean to say. 
yeah to but get into if, yeah, if you are in us you have much more better offer offers uh, that is okay. also there acha okay. i mean because salesforce is there everywhere now when mm-hmm. i was mm-hmm. when, when i was working in salesforce when i used to say that i'm working in salesforce my as i was from a small town people used to ask me okay are you selling some uh, soap uh, soap bottles or anything uh, is like a door to door delivery boy kind of but that intention has gone a decade back so every company as i said uh, 99% of the organizations are using salesforce whether it is bigger license or smaller license so you can figure out the jobs anywhere in the world so oh, these jobs also most of them can you like uh, i am not saying you give me surety or something like that <laughs> it will be online or offline jobs most of them because as you told out to their as uh, a small example you have taken uh, recently no no when i said door to door delivery they they used to think about uh, me as a sales agent who was to sell products but as they no, only so that's what i the example you took so it's not yeah. like that nowadays i know just i'm also kidding yeah. so, so i want to know it entire is... combinations got changed right like there are organizations where uh, they will support you for uh, uh, permanent work from homes also like one of my friend uh, got an offer in uh, one of the organization where they'll give him they they have given him a permanent lifetime work from home Anyway, it it depends on the organization's uh, perception, like how do you treat your employees. Okay. So if no one has any questions um uh, good so we spent half an hour but that's okay so thank you thank you for your time especially on sunday uh, you spent more than one and a half hour uh, to hear my boring lecture or whatever thanks for that and uh, yeah thanks to my family no, no, no. also <laughs> for allowing me to connect with all of you uh, to on especially on my sunday thanks thanks everyone see you soon thank you uh, so much sir. please share your feedbacks never mind yeah. uh, whether it is good or bad uh, but uh, please do share your feedbacks sure, sure. yeah thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much thank you